Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another video. Now, you might be saying, that's not a Star Wars figure. That's a Lord of the Rings figure, and I would say, yep, you're an absolute master of observation. And you're absolutely correct. Um, just received this one today. Um, I bought, I got Aragorn a couple of weeks ago, and I will be doing a review of him as well, if anyone wants to see it. But uh, yeah, I've got a couple of reviews to do today. There's a Diamond Select Series 1. And we've got Gimli and Legolas. These are the two I have for review, as well as Aragorn. Uh, they come with build figure parts to make Sauron. Now, for those who don't know, who've been following me for Star Wars for all these years, um, Lord of the Rings is another big one of my passions. Um, has been for as long as I can remember. Always been a big fan of the films, the novels, the stories, everything like that. I just, I actually have a reasonably. <laughs> May, some may say a healthy knowledge, some may say an unhealthy knowledge of uh, Lord of the Rings lore. Um, not as high as Star Wars, but it's it's pretty damn. It's a, it's a it's a fair bit of knowledge that I possess. So um, I, I'm a big fan. I'm emotionally tied to the Lord of the Rings story as well as Star Wars. So I thought we'd kick off and take a look at these figures. Um, try and incorporate something different into the channel, you know. Doesn't hurt every now and then. Uh, it'll still be mostly Star Wars, but uh, yeah, for the next couple of couple of days, I'll be dropping some Lord of the Rings reviews. So I'm I'm pretty pumped. So I hope you enjoy them. And uh, yeah, let's open up Legolas and take a look. All right, folks. So here is Legolas himself out of the packaging, and I'm just going to move him aside because I'll show you the builder figure parts he comes with. Now it comes with Sauron's right leg. Um, which is pretty cool. I do have his left. It also comes with his his uh, right arm as well, which is cool. So, yeah, I'm I'm almost I'm getting there. <laughs> I have all his limbs. You can see the one ring there on his finger. Looks reasonably nice. I uh, never got the Toy Biz Sauron back in the day, and I've looked at jumping into it and buying it in recent years, but I just never have. So. I decided I might as well piece together this new, new, updated version of Sauron by Diamond Select. Um, yeah, looks looks to be pretty good. I'll look forward to maybe adding a little bit more weathering to it. I think it looks fine though. I think it looks good. So with that aside, let's look at Legolas. <clears throat> now you just have to excuse his hair that's flicked up like that. That's just seems to be how he was packaged. Um, you know, it's just sort of just deformed a little bit. But uh, I'll run a little bit of warm water on my wife's hair dryer over that just to just to soften that up and let it fall properly. Um, also, uh, it comes with this bow, which looks reasonably nice. Um, I still have a lot of my Lord of the Rings figures from Toy Biz back in the day, so look forward to maybe getting these out and uh, having a little bit of a you know comparison in my own personal time. Uh, the hands are really. So I'm going to probably use a little bit of heat to pry them open before I start trying to shove accessories and stuff in in the hands, just because I don't want those hands to break. I don't think they will. I don't think they're quite as they're a bit softer than you know the old McFarlane stuff that you would just snap in an instant. Uh, it comes with three loose arrows that sort of sit in the quiver on the back here, and I will say the one thing that's kind of bum me out on this line already, um, having gotten Aragorn and Legolas, is that from their initial images, um, they seem to be lacking a few accessories and bits and pieces, like Aragorn was shown with a bow, he didn't come with a bow. Legolas, I think he was shown with knives, with his daggers, but uh, he has the, the sheath there that you can see through, but he doesn't come with the daggers. So the fact that they have just haven't included them is... I don't know whether they were just trying to just tighten up the budget a little bit before they got these things out. I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer, you know. He's sort of just missing out on some of his main weapons, but uh, you know, the fact that he comes with his bow is nice. And uh, yeah, I might go and get the daggers from my old Toy Biz Legolas and put them on. Um, give a close up. It actually, it looks pretty good on camera. Um, in person and close up, some of the uh, you know shading on the cheeks and stuff, it looks a little bit patchy, but 
Having them on camera here actually looks all right. It might just be the fact that, you know, it's very saturated light here because I've got my, my light ring. Um, it might just be picking up a lot of extra detail that, you know, not intended to be looked at that close. Whereas from here, I think it looks reasonably good. I mean, nicely articulated, which looks good. You know, the Legolas I have from, I think it was the Two Towers one from back in the day, Toy Biz days. His hair was sort of whipping whipping around like this anyway, so it was sort of pre-posed in a sort of a battle pose. Whereas I like the sort of just sort of standard standing there Legolas, so I can sort of pose that up and pose him myself the way I want. So I like that. Um, I'm just I've just started doing a rewatch so I'm really trying to work out where exactly you know the outfit is based on you know Aragorn which I'll go into when I do that review I mean, sort of a bit of a mix mash of different different parts of the trilogy based on what he's wearing um, slightly different sort of scenarios all sort of meshed into one so this could be very similar but uh, I'm, I'm digging it, you know, I'm, I'm really liking it. I feel like Lord of the Rings is one of those toy lines that it needs, there needs to be something happening uh, with Lord of the Rings. And I know it's kind of at a weird point where there isn't really any films or anything. There's the TV series in the works. So hopefully uh, Tolkien sort of related stuff sort of gets brought back on the map a little bit in terms of, you know, just popular culture with the uh, Amazon series that's coming out next year so but yeah it's nice to sort of see a figure line coming out again um, there was a company called the Bridge Direct which tried it with the Hobbit um, they did some good stuff but they just let it slip and it just ended up being a bit of a bummer really because um, there were some there were some actually pretty good figures in that line I still have them all today too um, mostly because the th they went with three and three quarter scale so it meant they had the opportunity to put out a lot of characters but they just didn't they just didn't get that far with it so but yeah I'm, I'm liking it the paint works good I hope Diamond Select are going to continue this line because I will I will continue buying them um, yeah I will absolutely continue buying them you know they've done Legolas, Gimli, uh, Aragorn, Frodo, uh, Invisible Frodo with Gollum, that was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um, they've done a Moria Orc, an Uruk Hai, and a, one of the Nazgul. Roger, roger. And there is my message tone. So, anyway, guys, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, you know, I've dabbled with Diamond Select a little bit in the past with their Marvel figures, so. It's nice to sort of get a bit more of a feel for what they do and uh, how they're doing it. Um, you know, the articulation isn't, you know, super bendable, but it, the, the sculpts are there and it's nice. So the articulation isn't really a big deal for me. Um, you know, there are some there is some good articulation among these figures, but uh, for the most part, I'm uh, pretty content with the uh, sculpt and the look of it as opposed to as opposed to the mo movement of the, of the thing so yeah I'd love to hear what you guys think please drop a comment down below if you want to stay tuned for more Lord of the Rings stuff I'm going to be doing them here on this channel so yeah Gimli coming up next he will drop tomorrow or the day after so stay tuned for that one um, yeah really really pumped looking forward to uh Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. And uh, yeah, please drop any comments and feedback below. I'd love to hear it. Um, yeah, it's been a long time since I've deviated away from the wars, but here, here I am. So uh, thank you very much for tuning in. And uh, see you on the next one.